missed. He let it slip away. Good right hands. He's out. out. Base he's out. out. Devin Gertz. Derek Campos. Gertz landing the right hook. And man, oh. there will be blood in Thackerville, Oklahoma. Wow. See, Gertz the one flicking the jab at him. Takedown. Just mentioned Brandon Gertz, an NCAA Division II Wrestling All-American, showing that skill there. After our fights tonight, it is the series premiere of Fight Master Bellator MMA. You can see it on Spike TV in the U.S. and Canada. Left hand from Gertz. Nice step over to the guard pass. Excellent job getting a half guard. That's something I, I think not a lot of wrestlers do enough, is try and pass guard when the opportunity presents itself. A lot of them are too content to stay in guard. See Gertz now going to work with the elbow, then the short left. You see, not controlling his head, not controlling Campos' head with the arm. <laughs> Makes it hard to pass, but you can land ground and pound. That's what he's choosing to do. Campos explodes to his feet. Yep. <laughs> counter right by Campos. And once again, it came off that big looping shot of Gertz, counter right hand. Campos has been a little bit more accurate, doing a good job of slipping Gertz's punches. Oh, beautiful spinning back kick. Slick from Derek Campos. That backed off Brandon Gertz. Jimmy, as always, you have the unofficial scorecard. 10-9, Derek Campos based on those effective strikes in the first round. Shot from Gertz. He was successful on that in round one. Look at that drive. Keeps pushing forward, but nothing doing in the second round. Very well defended from Derek Campos. Very slight swelling. There's a shot from Gertz. Great sprawl from Campos. Look at the drive through from Gertz, and he gets it. Campos keeping his cool. That went for the switch. Use that space to get back to his feet, but man, Gertz not giving up. Right back down again. There's the close guard from Derek Campos. That's the difference between, you know, circling and running. Is are you turning it into offense for yourself? So far, he's not. That was a good right hand by Campos, and he looks to pounce. 30 seconds remaining in round two. Oh, good right. Another right from Campos. That hurt him. Gertz. Gertz wobbling. Campos now looking to finish. Does he have time? Going hard for the guillotine. Locking it on, and Gertz playing all defense, waiting for the bell. Campos lost it. He's giving it up, trying to go to ground and pound. Campos will try to get it full on ground and pound, and there's the bell. Finish. There's another look at it. Man, Gertz in a lot of trouble at the end of that second round. Credit to his chin that he stayed in the fight, Sean. Nice short left hand. Good from Gertz on the outside trip. Really slick stuff. As he's shown is that ability to land really devastating ground and pound to no one to make space to really get steam behind his punches. Hasn't shown that yet. And we haven't seen any top game submissions yet in this fight from Brandon Gertz. Not at all. Elbows from Gertz, trying to turn up the intensity. That's a nice, short, sharp elbow. The elbow that I just described is short and sharp. It actually cut the forehead of Derek Campos. It's about eight feet in front of our commentary position. It was a slicing short elbow. That's a nice cut. Doesn't look like a fight stopper yet, though, Sean. No, it's in the forehead, not in the eye. Now Gertz turning it on with the ground and pound. Let me keep this fight grounded. Try to let go with the ground and pound. So he's trying to explode up, and he does. Campos then immediately comes forward. Closing seconds now. Good right hand by Campos. Slips continuing to throw. Counter left from Gertz. The bell in the end of the fight. That's what you'd love to see. Both guys fighting to the final bell. Outstanding fight. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges, Dan Matheson, David Sutherland, and Don Turnage, all see the fight exactly the same, 29 to 28 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Derek the Stallion Campos. Derek Campos, now 12 and three in his pro MMA career, and gets Bellator win number one. He is definitely a fighter to watch, just 25 years old.
called Brandon Gertz Cole Roll. He has been on a roll, but Derek Campos has gotten in his way. Not only did Derek Campos hand them a decision loss, it was Derek Campos that pulled out of a fight because of injury. Derek Anderson subbed in, and Brandon Gertz got knocked out with that memorable knee. He would like to erase Derek Campos from his history, and he can do that here tonight. Fight Clock brought to you by Miller Lite. The original Pilsner Cheers, it's Miller Time. The confidence of Brandon Gertz has grown. You could just, you could see it in the way he carries himself and talking to him after that Melvin Gillard. It's like he knew he could do it, but then he actually. He was almost not happy with himself. He thought he could have done better, could have maybe finished Melvin Gillard. Pissed, he let it slip away. Good right hand! He's out. It, He's out. Out. It's done. It is done. And Brandon Gertz made a statement three months ago against Melvin Gillard. What on earth was that? That was another bump in the road for Brandon Gertz. Man, what a shot. This is where athleticism meets aggression. Right hook, two of them. Back to back, right on the temple. Jason Herzog all over the stoppage. Look at it here, not one, but two. One, two, and to the ground. One, two, three, it's over. Man. Three fights ago, Brandon Gertz got his first professional knockout. He got the scent. He got the taste of it. He got the addiction. It never goes away. Melvin Gillard, now Derek Campos. Two statement wins in a row. The biggest of your career, man. How does it feel? Feels good. Uh, I told you I was going to come in here and make a statement that I'm not the same man I was the first time I bought, fought Derek, and uh, I thought I showed that tonight. Yeah, take me through the end of the fight. What was so interesting about it is that there were two right hands over the top, not just one, but two. A follow up punch. Was that your intention? <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it was my intention, it was just there, man. Good luck to both of you. Referee Big John McCarthy with final instructions. We are set for chapter three in the rivalry between Derek Stallion Campos and Cold Roll Brandon Gertz. A division unfinished business, of course, between Brent Premises. Gertz lands a knee on Camos and Michael Chandler as Chandler losing the title in ignominious fashion at Bellator NYC. I'm sure there will be a rematch. What do we say about power punches? Both guys leaning into every shot. Gertz with a couple of strikes, a minute gone here in the first round. There you go. Mauro Ranello, Jimmy Smith, Jen Brown of the entire Bellator MMA crew here at Windstar World Casino and Resort in Thackerville, Oklahoma. Oh, and a nice kick, kick by Gertz. Campos chest down and Campos with that Superman punch. He ate a hook coming in. Gertz caught him with that right hook over the top. And again, Gertz just leading with that Left hand. Oh, but he got caught with a left hook by Campbell's and not Campbell's off balance with a strike for zone. This is like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. <laughs> Both guys there to be hit, not scared to unload. Look at their heads whenever they're fighting. They are on a rail. They don't move them at all until they start throwing punches. Then there's some slight movement, but defensively, yeah, they don't care at all. It's center line. Yep. And close your eyes and hit oh. these guys. Lead right hand by Campos. Gertz just swinging wildly back. Just past the midpoint of the first round. Now both guys are landing their power punches. Campos with the right hand. Oh. Gertz with the left hook over the top. Beautiful straight left there. Dushin firing off with the left and then the liver kick. A little low. It's a right hook over the top by Gertz from that southpaw stance. That's what he keeps knocking Campos off balance with. Just like that. They come in right hand and then right hook over the top of it. And Campos, Campos, and Gertz hits a left hook, the knee up the middle, but then it's Gertz landing the right hook, and man, they are just swinging from the fences, and it hurt Eddie. Gertz is leaking from the forehead, and he secures a takedown, and an elbow strike. It's bleeding horribly, it's, it's Gertz, Gertz. The forehead. it's Gertz. He's fighting now like he's desperate. There will be blood in Thackerville, Oklahoma. Wow. Look at that, nobody will do Oh, liver kick. By Gertz. Yep, so that was caused by, John McCarthy said it was by a knee. He turned to the judges and said, cut, caused by a knee. Great stuff by Campos. Opening round featuring more blood than an episode of Dexter as we go to round two. Oh, good job, good job.
Everything is hurting. That straight left is hurting. I can see her belt yes, forward to Marvin Eastman and that knee in the yeah. water very yeah. similar. Right. I won't say what Joe Rogan said that night. Man. <laughs> I can, I can see what he's thinking. That's gnarly. I don't see them letting that one go. That's too deep. And look at the aggression from Gertz right away. He immediately stepped it up, went for the takedown. He said, I know this is bad. I got to do something before they check this thing out. And I haven't seen... I think there is a doctor there, but I haven't seen one really look at the cut. They're going to keep going. This is why we watch this sport, is for fights like this. Friday night fight, courtesy of Bellator MMA, and they come out swinging. This is when you think, how do men do this for a living? That punch is all, everything's a big haymaker. Minicon and Campos again, team off on Gertz. Letting it all hang out here tonight, Jimmy. The question might become, Gertz with the short camp, does he have the cardio oh, to keep this going for three rounds? And there they go again. Defense being damned! And every time it looks like Campos has him, that right hook comes over the top and knocks him off balance. And Gertz fires off another left hand down the middle on Campos. Now this one's a tougher one to score because I think Gertz has been busier in this second round. But I think Campos has hurt. Gertz, Gertz changing a little bit levels. More. Campos with the takedown yeah, defense. Campos coming forward with 45 seconds left in the second round. Counter left hand by Gertz. <laughs> what did Teddy oh, Atlas nice say? right up for and left hand. Yeah, Teddy Atlas said it. He said he's the kind of guy who gets offended if you don't punch him. <laughs> Both these guys get offended if you don't punch him. Campos with a knee up the middle. Oh, the shot. Up balance by Gertz. Always that hook follows the shot. Gertz will take the first one and then launch that right hook over the top. It has been a blood and guts battle through two rounds. The third and final round is coming up. Wow. How do you have it on your unofficial scorecard? Two to none for Campos. I think he's hurting Gertz a little bit more. Had him in trouble against the fence a couple times. But what's different in that second round is Gertz was more active. Like we said, he doesn't have time on his side. He's being busier. But it's effective aggression. I think Campos being a little bit more effective. Now that knee grazed. It didn't land right at the point, And it's over. Whoa. Good job. You did your job. They have stopped it because of the fight. I'm sorry. They've stopped the fight because of the cut. You, and much to the chagrin and the protestation from the corner of Brandon Gertz, who was willing to, to continue the heart of a warrior, Brandon Gertz. Cut to the forehead, and upon the advice of the cage side position, referee Big John McCarthy waves off the contest. Official time, five minutes of round number two, the winner by TKO, Derek Stallion Combo. Unfortunately, you know, the cut is deep and, and the call by Big John and the, the medical team, you know, they're the professionals. It is a big cut, so I mean, unfortunately, it just got stopped. Otherwise, we would have given y'all another third round to cheer on. Now, Brandon Gertz, come over here, man. I got to say, two pit bulls made that walk tonight. That was an unbelievable performance. Short notice, you didn't take a backward step that entire time. I know you're disappointed with how it ended, but I think everyone wants to hear, everybody here wants it to be best of seven. It, it's, it's a tough thing to lose like that, man. I mean, I wanted to keep fighting. It was, a, it was a brawl out there, and I wanted to keep putting my heart out there, man. This hurts. This hurts bad. Uh, like a... Uh, yeah, like I said, it was a war. I said we were going to have a war out here. Uh, Campos is a man, man. I, uh, I respect him, uh, gave me a hell of a fight. Thank you guys for coming. You heard it, give it up for these two warriors right now. Brandon Gertz and Derek Campos, both of them winners.